And you might be wondering why I'm suddenly standing here. We left off at the temple, in front of the temple. I did some research and um, let me real quick show you what I found. Um, that's the right screen. So this is about this puzzle box that we're looking for, and it says you find it in Art Fund. It's blah, the size of a fist. We are, fist. We already know that. It's wanted by Hasfat and Tabolis, and it cannot be taken if the quest is not active. We do have the quest active now. We didn't have it active before, but I still am pretty sure we had it in our inventory. Um, that said, I'm not playing the regular Morrowind. I'm playing OpenMW, so it could be that this blockage of not being able to take it did not work. On the other hand, we also know that the Elder Scrolls games are very buggy. So let us see what it says. It's inside Arnfend within a room called the Cells of Hollow Hand, which is right behind the door I'm standing before, which is guarded by boss Crito, which honestly is no longer there because you killed him. This room's door is on a ledge situated above the main three entrances. Yes, we know which are guarded by Surus Velvus, who we already killed. The ledge can be accessed by a small pathway on the left. Okay, the puzzle box is on the lower shelf on the left side of the room after entering. So let's try that out. So we're standing here in front of, and let me real quick, because I was just running around, looking where it is, I turned on God mode, which basically just meant I could teleport. Um, I could use my magic without, without using Magicka because I originally had planned to reload the game and then, uh, and then go here. But um, since I'm just going to show you something and I did not change anything within the game except for my actual location, let me just do this. So this is, this is the room, you already checked it. It's about here. So it said left side after entering. Um, there is no shelves here. Maybe this is the lower shelf. Nope, it's in here. So this is the right side, this is the left side, and there's no shelves here also. And the crate's also empty. So I go to the left. There is a crate. Well, as you can see, this is a little bit weird. Because it's said to the left of the room after entering, which is here. Um, but yeah, here are shelves and bottom shelf empty, bottom shelf empty. And I can imagine that it actually has been here. And I simply took it because the, the the blockage that requires the quest to be active is not working. So what I'm just going to do is, first of all, because of all that noise, I'm just going to cast out the invention and intervention and go back to the temple. And then, as you can see here, I can also use this ID which I just copied to the, um, to the thing. And I, this should, in theory, unless I did something wrong, have given me the box. There it is. So it just gave me the box via a cheat. And I think this is legitimate because I don't want to spend hours and hours and episodes and episodes searching for it. So now we're going to just hand it in and assume that we found it. And I'm going to start the timer now. So this was just pre-episode explanation. Okay. So we want to go to the Fighters Guild. It was... Is it necessary that you speak with me? It does not feel very fulfilling doing it like this. But it would be more unfulfilling doing it differently. Let me close the door. And there we have. Bothering me. So, have you done the little favor I asked? Yeah, perfect. Just what I was looking for. Just let me take this box. And then I'll tell you what Kaios will want to know about the sixth house. And about the Nerevarine. And by the way, the inscriptions on the box seem to be directions for setting a Dwemer key to open a specific lock. If you're interested, after you delivered your report to Kaios, come back and maybe I'll have a key you can take back to Arkfand. I think that's just a key to some door that we could already open, but um, I'm not going to go into Arkfan. The website says that it basically just lets you open the door in case your skills were too low. And we just ran through the whole thing. So um, yeah, what, so what do you, I'm going, just going to ask things. So what, what do you know about the disappearance of the dwarves? Well, the disappearance of the dwarves predates imperial written records. 
Dunmer oral accounts record that the Dwemer were utterly destroyed by the gods for profane practices and impiety. Dwarven ruins are scattered across Tamriel, and weapons, armor, housewares, coins, and other items of Dwemer design are often found. While the circumstances surrounding the disappearance of the dwarves remains one of Tamriel's greatest mysteries. So what can you tell me about the dwarves? Indeed, without false modesty, I can say I'm an expert on the Dwemer. I'm not generous with my knowledge, and I won't share what I know until we're better acquainted and closer associates. Well, then let me try to get better acquainted with you, right? Oh, I don't have enough magicka left. So let me first have a little nap. I'm going to come back tomorrow and then we're going to talk about the dwarves again. So just right next door there is a bed that I can I'm use. Very happy to make your acquaintance. Are we already we're already acquaintances. You know me, you gave me lots of orders, made me kill people. Accusing them of necromancy. You had a disturbing dream. You can only recall one part. A tall figure with a golden mask led you among the dead as through a wedding celebration. You heard many voices, but no lips moved. You strained to breathe, but your chest didn't move. The tall figure spoke with each figure as he passed among them, laughing and joking as if they were alive, but they made no reply. You tried to cry out, but without breath, your tongue fluttered in vain. That's a really disturbing dream. I still want to heal, though. Please, feel free to talk at your leisure. Um, well, you know, that's that's what I'm doing. I'm sorry, my, my ear is just itching. I need to scratch that, luckily. Um, luckily, I can actually do this. Okay. So this was a very disturbing dream. Um, I guess it appeared because we progressed in the main quest. But it could also just be because we got the puzzle box. I, I mean, it's a tall figure. It didn't say if the figure had um, had actual um, nails in the head. So, um, let's see. Let's, let's boost hear. our charisma. And let's see if he now can, will, will to tell me something about the Dwemer. The Dwemer are the fabled lost dwarven race whose ruins and splendid artifacts are scattered across Tamriel. Elves use the term Dwemer, connoting variously deep delving, profound, and close counseled. Imperial usage is dwarven, derived in fable from the affectionate regard of the giant races for the little Dwemer friends. There are several Dwemer sites on Vardenfell, and many have found the Dwemer artifacts. What about these artifacts? Well, weapons, armor, housewares, coins, and other items of Dwemer designs are often found in the ruins. They are prized by historians and antiquarians and very valuable. The Emperor, however, has declared all newly discovered artifacts to be possessions of the crown and forbids their trade or sale. Now smuggling artifacts is treason, but smugglers will risk execution for such a profitable crime. Well, I think I actually didn't know that it was... Uh, there was treason. Well, let's ask about the language. Oh, their language is largely untranslatable, though the alphabet is known and short inscriptions can be deciphered, usually from context clues. Fortunately, many Dwemer documents were written in Altmeris, which is very close to modern elven languages. What about the puzzle box that I brought you? Yes, the inscriptions on the box seem to be directions for setting a key um, to open a specific lock. Oh, well. What about the Dwemer sides? Okay, he just tells me about some... So do you have another favor to ask of me? Uh, no, no, the box that is, is just what I was looking for. So tell me, tell me something about the fire tree. I'm not going to go, go through this. Um, Foyada means fire river, I think. And um, tell me something about Morrowind history. I won't bore you blathering about history. That's what Chaos is for. But if you're really interested, try... On Morrowind, the Imperial Province, by Aramanwe of Sunhold. I have an extra copy you can have. Um, what an adventure like you really needs is a sense of current events. 
who hates who, what's tr where's trouble brewing, that's where opportunity lies for an outlander like you. But then what about the current events? Well, the great houses hate each other. Theft, murder, assassin assassination, secret raids, standard stuff. The temple is trying to kill off a rebellious faction called the Dissident Priests. Ashland and nomads raid each other, attack traders and pilgrims. A secret cult is killing off imperial citizens. All bad enough. The real problem, though, is the blight. Monsters send diseases. The natives says it comes from Red Mountain. It's been a local problem for years, but lately it's gotten badly out of control. Can ask about the history again. Chaos says he's fed up with heroes. The Empire keeps sending them out here to the provinces to civilize things. The fools don't seem to realize that their destinies are being created by historical processes, and they're too ignorant and impatient to understand it. So Chaos sends you to me, hoping you'll be different. Poor Chaos, so many disappointments. So maybe you'll read on Morrowind the Imperial Province and learn something about current events. That's what I recommend. Well, yeah, we're going to read the book. I'm going to, if, if I haven't already, I'm going to do it in story time. Let me check story time. Um, doesn't seem to be on the list, so I'll definitely read it at some point in time. Can you tell me something about Enchilith Tinth? Uh, yes, I heard that Anna's Vendo was dead. Is the expedition going well otherwise? Did they find the translation key? Ah, so they're looking. Tell me something about the Nerevarine. I mean, that's why I originally did that favor for you, right? The Ashlanders believe a reborn Nerevar will unite the Dunmer against the Outlander invaders and restore the ancient Dark Elven nation. Nerevar is a legendary hero and saint of the temple, but the temple denies the prophecy excuse me, and persecutes heretics who believe in the Nerevarine. Tell Chaos that Sharon Grabo's gob would be a better person to ask about the native faiths and superstitions. But what about the Sixth House? House Dagoth is the Sixth House, the lost Sixth House. In the First Age, House Dagoth betrayed the other great houses during the War of the First Council and was destroyed for the treason. I can answer many questions you have, but I'll also give you some notes to give to Chaos and recommend some Sixth House recommends, rec references he should read. Well, tell, tell me more about House Dagoth then. House Dagoth was the sixth of the seven Dunmer Great Houses. Nothing remains of the sixth house. Its members were all slain or adopted, adopted into other Great Houses following the treason in the War of the First Council. Their clan's dead was called Kogorun. And the references? Here's a list of cheap books. All of them will tell you something about the Sixth House and how it ended. The War of the First Council, Saint Nerevar, Nerevar Moon and Star, and The Real Nerevar. Try the bookseller Dorisa Darvall over in the commercial district. She left at least some of these titles. Well, thank you. I'm going to go to Caius Casados straight away. So that was a little bit of Morrowind lore time. Is it necessary that you... Yes, it is necessary that I talk to you. Well, at least to you. And it's necessary for me to drink something because I talk so much. There. Soon free, I hope. Oh, did I say that loud? Well, we're heading back to Chaos. Casades and checking. How can I help you? Are you here to discuss your orders, Nighty? Or is there something else you want? These notes are from Hasford and Tobolus. Excellent. I trust you didn't work you too hard for them. I'll look them over in more detail later. But now I have some new orders for you. And they are. I've glanced at the notes. They cover the sixth house admirably, but not the Nerevarine cult. Hop on over to the Belmora's Mages Guild, which is right next to the Fighters Guild. Get Sharon Grabmus Gob to tell you what she knows about the Nerevarine. She'll have some silly errand for you. Do what she asks and report back when she's given you the information. <clears throat> um, Kaios, I also have a weird thing to discuss with you. I had some disturbing dreams recently. You're worrying me, Nighty. 
You're not going loopy on me, are you? Word of advice. In Morrowind, if you have a disturbing dream, the temple says you're crazy. And they want to lock you up. And if you have disturbing dreams and think they mean something, then the temple thinks you're a prophet or a witch, and they want to lock you up. So take my advice and keep a lid on it. So since we're a member of the temple, we should not mention this to the other temple mem members, right? Let's see what Aaron, our friend in the Mages Guild has. Drink. How wonderful. Welcome, Outlander. <clears throat> See how I'm not responding? Because you made me kill innocent people. Uh, uh, Sharn. May fortune be with you. Oh, thank you, Sharn. I do have, I do have a question which might strike you weird. No, no interruptions. Uh, how many times? You are one of Caius' associates. That's a different matter. Caius and I have a very satisfactory agreement, and I'm sure we can come to some sort of agreement. If you will complete a little errand for me. Well, just spit it out. The errand, then, is very simple. I need the skull of Levula Andrano. You'll find it in the interstellar tomb of the Andrano family. But take care not to upset the natives. The Dunmer have some peculiar primitive prejudices against necromancy and take, take grave objection to unauthorized tomb visits. Well, where is, where is this tomb? It's south of Pelagiad, just off the road. <laughs> Sorry. Just before you reach the fork, where the road goes southwest towards Sidonin and southeast to Vivek. You may need an enchanted blade. Got that. Some spirits are immune to normal weapons. Here, take this old short sword, and maybe these old scrolls will come in handy. <clears throat> South of Pelagiat. Uh, do you know who this do you, do you know who this person was? He was no one special, a journeyman enchanter. There may be many skulls in Andrano tomb, but you'll have no problem recognizing Leluva's skull from the ritual markings. Well then, it's kind of a clash of interest because I'm a Mages Guild member, and the Mages Guild hates necromancy. But honestly, I always say it depends on what the person actually is doing. So let us see, Pelagiad was... Wasn't it here? Yeah, it was just just on the way to Sidanin. That was where the the thug the thug of the woman fell in love with was. So we'll just head on over. Yeah, Pelagiad, and then the tomb. <laughs> oh, this is so far away. <sighs> This is what you get for recording right after you had a long role-playing session. Well, in the evening before, basically, and had a night with little sleep. But I had to have a change of scenery, so I went downstairs into my little recording studio and started recording Morrowind. But I'm still a little bit tired. I hope it does not notice, it doesn't, doesn't come up too much. That's the doors of uh, the ruins closing again, by the way, because I now went into the area, well, the script execution area, kind of. So let's see. Interested in killing you. Damn it, I'm yawning so much right now. 
it's not like I'm falling asleep. It's I actually don't feel much tiredness, but I'm yawning so much. So let's see, I think this is the way. Hello, you. And some hide, thank you. Your sacrifice is well appreciated. Also, I should update the to-do list at some point in time. Maybe make something that I can control with my, um, with a web browser in the um, Kindle. So I have a little thing set up here that I can just use it with. That would be neat. That's an egg mine from the type of the door. And I hate rain. My fur is dripping wet. That's never, never nice. And I mean, I even wear clothing, so even the clothing is dripping wet. That's not nice. So let's head this way because the sign says so. Well, at least the rain means that there's lots of greenery and these huge mushrooms. And stutters while the area is loading. So this is the game basically failing. I'm going to use the other entrance or other um, to go around the Lagiad because the tomb is supposedly south of the Lagiad, yes, just off the road. And so I'm going to go where it says back entrance and then see. So this is the entrance and I'm just Checking now if the tomb should be somewhere here. Because we are now getting to the place. Is this the entrance? Or is this just another egg mine? Oh, this is just a lake. Okay. Ah, there it is. I can already see the entrance, so let us real quick have a little rest. The rain. So now our fur, my fur is thoroughly soaked. Through and through. He's picking some berries and dropping a quip, quip save, quick save. There is, there is someone already dead here. Eh, eh, there we go. A dead body. And we're over encumbered. No problem. Now we should be taken to a different temple though. I think. Yeah, this is the Vivek temple. So, selling stuff here is not that easy. But luckily, one of these weighs 10. And we're just going to sell stuff now because I don't want to. Well, let's first see if we can actually, because these have drain health and stuff. Maybe I can just 
have a nice go. train health. No, it's only one lightning shield. <laughs> if we can use them, that would be nice. Resist shock. Not too bad. I'm just going to sell the stuff. I just think there should be someone who can um, who can buy these in the temple, but I'm still going to head over. Um, this is where I need to go. Yep, that's where the ferryman is. Because we want to go to the foreign quarter. So first of all, over to the arena. And then to the foreign quarter. We have nearly 30,000 gold, I think. I think it was 29,000 just now. Okay, so the thing is, the reason why I go here is I can just now teleport to Balmora. Also, so this is... Yeah, my concentration is not the best. What do you want? So I'm not going to strain. There we have our good friend around here. It's... But hello again, IT. I need someone to fetch me the gold garnet flower that grows in the ruins nearby. Also, this means I should actually now go and... Um, random people... And add gold, fetch gold, and a flower. Oh, fetch. Roll. No, what was this? Roll and this here from Nidric Ruins. All right, let me. Sorry, this takes a little bit. But first I need to create the thing and then say um, find Roland's here in Daedric Ruins near Vivek. Bring Roland's here to our in Vivek. Foreign water. And I'm going to accept that. Obviously, and the ruins are east of here. Or was that west? No, no, east. And a bit to the north. Well, it's not very far at any rate, near the water. I'll mark it on your map. No, a regular gold connet, only the Roland's tier variety. I basically just want to sell these because those are super heavy. But I'm going to sell the rest also. Just because I'm here and I can. Okay. Can you and now we're just going to go and um, take the time to teleport to Balmora. And then... I think we're, yeah, we're against faster by jumping than just walking. And then sell the stuff there because the people give us more money. Because running back and forth from Vivek Temple also is a pain in the ass. And I will forget that I need to do this. That's the second thing. So here, and then we can just go up here, where it rains through the roof, and use the major Guild. Walk with virtue, Outlander. And I'm going to teleport with virtue, but yes, thank you. Just head he up here. Guild guide was there.
No, it's just twenty just twenty-three thousand. So Welcome. I'm pretty sure we did not do this this place, so I'm pretty sure we will find what we're looking for. So the Nordic Claimer is what I don't want. Steel Warhammer, Iron Bracers and Pauldrons are not interesting. You're not buying regular clothing, that's okay. It's not much, but it's lots of the weight of our shoulders. And it's the best amount of money we can get because he likes us. The Outfittery. So I'm going to sell you all these items of clothing. I'm going to sell you the goblets and this little lamp. And they had a little lamp shown as bright as the sun. Offer. And now we can just, well, yeah, we can recall. I, be, I will still be sleeping in the bed first. Because I can. I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I hope I'm not troubled by disturbing How dreams yet again. Nope, this night we were fine. Um, yes. And recall was what I needed to do. So. Shrine of Saint Wealth. A donation of zero. Well, that's nice. What did this give us? <laughs> fortify, lots of fortify skill, but she was not. Fortify magicka. Fortify magicka. Well, nice. So let's see. So there is a. Mm, that's bad, Bone Walker. I'm going to save because this can damage. That was kind of good, because it means that is bad, that is yowch, painful. On the other hand, you know what, I can just do this and drain the health. And just get my health back. Those were nice arrows though. Let me see what they do, it is weakness to shock and shock damage. Yep, there's still enemies nearby. And did we get some damage to our strength? No, we did not. Because these damages you can only heal with specific rest restoration potions, and we don't have the spell for it. So that's something that I would want to learn, restore attribute. And uh, make a spell out of it. So we can restore our strength when we lose it. Yes, clock, I see that you're blinking red. Thank you very much. I want to keep on playing though. And since that guy is so close to us, I'm going to do this. Okay, he resists the magic. And let me do it like this. We also have these neat arrows, which means I get them now. Nice. There's still enemies nearby. Well, I can just... Uh... Where is it? Hearth Heal was the name. It starts with an H, so it should be... There it is. There we go. So what's this? Where's Bane? Small chest with small things. That was one heal too much. Basically I just left a double clicked on accident. Yeah, we're 
we are grave robbers now. That's there's no denying it. It's just what we are. Okay. So there is a skeleton. He will come over with a pike. That's that's the wrong spell. That's the spell you need to do. A crippled skeleton. Well, this this quest is supposed to be easy. So I'm going to I am going to drop all of these. Yeah, I'm going to do it the same way that I did before. And then I have I need to have some time where I just run back and forth at the Vivek Temple. Let me stop the timer. Um, well, these I can just use and try to increase our own repair scale. Which is never a bad thing to do. And now we just drop what we don't need. What's this? A fire blade. So these are shock and fire damage arrows. Actually quite nice. But we're not a marksman. So these are... Well, not our things. A Nordic battle axe. A silver dagger. That's the one that we're using. Bone meal. Bangla, Spain. That looks basically like we did it. So let's do recall. And drop a quick save before we I think it hit us, because there is this drain strength, and as you can see, it drains the strength but very well. And we have too much, no, we did not have too much drain, that's good, because the drain is not permanent? Is it because that's, a, no, that's a regular bone walker, that's weird, I always... Let's take these, unarmored skill, fire damage, and this is the skull we were supposed to get, and the dagger of judgment. And of course we're going to continue investigating this place. Just going to finish, <laughs> just going to finish this. Another dagger, another book. Well, this is basically where the people pray to their ancestors. Nope. That seems to just have been ambient sound effects. Now we can just check this area out. Also just, unless interacting with one of these things spawns an enemy, hunt meat, ghoul heart, and more ash. So now we should actually, a bone meal, now we should actually be through. Yeah, yep. Nearly, do not fight that one. Let me just hit him with that repeatedly. There. Fire salts. Those are not bad. Should do fire resistance. And 
something wax, drill wax. Resist frost, not fire resistance. Well, that was kind of obvious, to be honest. And now we can just head back out. That was a weird sound. Well, honestly, why, why heading back out that way? Well, we can just do this. The reason is because we don't have the Magicka. Well, let's get the Magicka. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sell all this stuff here real quick in a short little time lapse. So we'll see each other next week. So you will see the time lapse and then the episode will end and we'll see each other next week. Bye bye.